Hi, let's take a look at the amazing expression tools in the Note 2 and how they can help anyone be creative. With EasyClip, you can crop and save anything from your screen. I'm getting my girlfriend a puppy for her birthday, so I found a picture of a cute one she might like. So by pressing and holding the S Pen button, I can just outline around the image like this, and it's cropped. Now the image can be scrapbooked or shared, but I'm just going to save it to my scrapbook. Now if I go open up my scrapbook of where the image was clipped, like a paper scrapbook, I can flip through the pages like this. It's pretty cool. I've collected over time a bunch of images. And here's my furry friend. Now here's a really cool tool called the Idea Sketch where I could simply write my ideas and see them visualized through illustrations. Now let's take a look at a few sample idea sketches I've been working on. I'm moving to a new house soon, so I've been planning the interior layout of my new living room on an S-Note using the Idea Sketch tool. I'm thinking of adding a new dresser, but I'd like to first see how they might look. So in edit mode, I can either activate the Idea Sketch by going to the Insert menu at top, or just simply long press the S Pen button, like this, and the Idea Sketch menu will be activated. Now in this box, I can write any keyword I want, or I could select from an extended list of categories on top. An idea sketch will simply match a choice of illustrations to use. So here, I'll just write furniture. And right away, idea sketch recognizes this and finds me pictures of furniture. Perfect. Now here's a sketch of the dresser. Let me select that. Now I could resize the image to wherever I want in my note and place it where I think it's going to look good in my living room interior. Not bad. Now I could also create my own custom idea sketch image. So here's another note using idea sketch about a focus group study on how certain advertising creative can make people feel certain emotions. So I'd like to create my own custom sketch of a very happy, ecstatic looking person. So let's activate idea sketch again. Now this time, I'm going to click on the plus icon on top to add a new idea sketch. So now I'm going to draw him in. Kind of looks like me. And now let me just add him to my list of categories, and I'm going to click Emotion to have my custom sketch added. And there he is. There's my happy guy. And let me place him into the that's not what I've been working on. Created my own custom idea sketch. Now let's do some more idea sketch. Outside my new house, I'm also planning on doing some gardening work in my spare time. So here's a garden layout I'm working on. Now I want to go and activate idea sketch again. So let's go to edit mode. And then let's go into the idea sketch menu again. Now going to the category bar, you can see there are a bunch of categories. But note that in the future, more categories and the options of the sketches will be available to download. Now I found the sketch that I want to add to my garden. So all I have to do is press and hold it, and now I can edit it. I'd like to give him some color. So let's add some red and some green. Now here's my new edited image, and I can go and use this in my new S note. Now I think flowers will look good over here in my garden. Now these idea sketches are a brand new way to better visualize your thoughts and express them. We added some additional features to the S Pen and S Note to better express yourself and your creativity. With the S Pen, we've now added the Pen Switch feature, which lets you preset different pen styles and settings. So let me go enter some preset styles. Add it, and let me show you how it works. You can simply change each setting with just one click on the S Pen button, and click to cycle to even an eraser setting if you've made a mistake. Pretty cool. 
The next feature we've added is the Auto Outline feature, which allows you to turn any photo into sketched outlines. You just insert any image from your gallery, like this. Let me just place them right here. And you can select the Sketch Effect setting, and then there's Auto Outline. Now that I can see the outline here, I can easily draw in my own outline. Now this is pretty helpful, since my drawing is pretty bad. It really helps me to, to recreate a drawing. Now there's my car. Pretty neat. The next feature is called Color Picker. It's a very convenient way to grab the color of any image you see on your screen and use for drawing. You just click on the strange looking icon here, and then you click on any color you see on the screen. So let me click on this yellow flower. And you can see right here, the color's been captured. And I could just simply use this color for my drawing. It's a really cool way to apply any color you see to your drawings. We're also introducing some new features to our S-Planner. Now most people in this digital age still like to use their old-fashioned paper calendars since it's so easy to just write something on them. So we've now added handwriting mode to the S-Planner, which basically lets you use it like a paper calendar. So in S Planner, you can see I've got a lot of appointments in here already, but through handwriting mode, I can make reminder notes more quicker in a more natural way. So I've got an important date to remember, my girlfriend's birthday. So I'm going to circle around that important day. It's been all work, no play lately, so I've been really looking forward to a vacation coming up at the end of the month. So let's mark that in right here. Now I'd also like to remind myself for a doctor's appointment. So if I... Go here, select the date, and I could also even insert a sticker as a reminder. And let me now write my appointment. There you go. We've also integrated Facebook with S Planner, so you could always be up to date with all your friends' birthdays. All you need to do is sync your calendar with your Facebook account, and your friends' birthdays will automatically appear here in S Planner. As you can see, I've got a notification reminder of my cousin Hannah's birthday. Now I'm going to select that reminder. I can either post a message on her wall, or better yet, send her a personalized S note greeting with my own pictures and drawings. So let's do that. So I'm going to create and send her a happy birthday note. and I could upload directly to her Facebook wall, straight from S Planner. Now let's go check out her page. Now there's my happy birthday note. Thanks for taking a look at the Galaxy Note 2's amazing expression tools. Please take a look at our other hands-on videos as well.